Hello! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's reads. Uh, my YouTube channel is James 13 Wicca, in case you're seeing this video somewhere else on YouTube. Um, for the main part of the read, I'm using Astro, Ma Astro Matrix Tarot by... Am I bring my blank? I don't know. Is this the one that's from... The website in the back is Astro Matrix. Some of these... They come forward in different ways. I don't know if this one had a creator or if it was listed that way, but there's astromatrix.com, nope.org. Um, check that out if you're interested in this deck. I want to say this is one of those that doesn't list the creator, but it could be crazy. Supportive Oracle Cards, Your Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace, illustrations by Aline Marzen. On the back is... Uh, rockpoolpublishing.com, the AU is an Apple, use an umbrella. And, of course, the dice. Um, you get the dice from the Dice Shop by Math Art Fun. I don't know if it's showing up there. Hopefully it's showing up. I'm going to try to do this. I have to get my ducks in a row to do these things differently. But for right now, I'm going to keep doing them the way I was. But um, Alex, I explained that in other videos. 22-sided dice for the Major Arcana. 22 I substitute for the zero. 14-sided uh, dice for the minor arcana. I use a four-sided dice to choose the element. Boom. All right. That being said, if you'd like a reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. This is james number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information that's below, same email. That being said, let's go on to your reading. Hello, Pisces. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said... What do we have for Pisces? Your card, right out there with the success card. This, well, this is looking fun to start with. Let's see. Let's see. Might have to loosen your grip a little bit. Something could start. How much, like, how many cards? The whole deck? The whole deck? <laughs> um... Okay, so you're holding on to something. I don't know if that's a bad thing or it's just like holding on to it in a different way. It's kind of like loosening your grip, but maybe also changing how you're holding on to something. Um, there's a difference between holding on to something because you enjoy it versus holding on to, holding on to something in desperation. Um, which doesn't have to be a literal grip, but it's almost like keeping something, it's almost like keeping a relic in your house, maybe a family heirloom, keeping it because you like it, because you're enjoying it, versus keeping it because you feel like you're obligated to, it's a different feeling. You know, kind of like, eh, I don't know if I really like it, but I feel like I have to keep it, or, you know, it's almost like feeling like, well, it's probably worth something, so if I'm going to get rid of it, I probably should handle it a certain way, but then again, that might upset people, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's, it's the way you're holding on to something. And it's like, it's kind of like they're saying, are you worried that if you don't hold on to it, that things could go bad for you? Or do you feel like you're supposed to hold on to something? There's been, whatever you're holding on to, it's had its day. Okay. It's had its day. We got the Ten of Cups. Good energy. Can we get a little bit more about that? Four of Swords reversed. Wheel of Fortune reversed. It's had its day, but maybe it's not having its day anymore. It's kind of like having a house and kind of like maybe in the past when you first got into it, it was great. It was in the location that was perfect for your family. You know, it had a lot of benefits, blah, 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 blah. But maybe at the current energy, it's kind of like the same people don't live there anymore. Um, it's becoming more of a chore to hang on to. It's becoming more expensive to hang on to. It doesn't have the feeling that it used to have. And it's almost like, am I holding on to it for the memories or am I holding, holding on to it because I want it? Because I love it? 
like, do I love it currently, or do I did I do I love it more in the past that I'm holding on to it for the memories more than the function functionality of it currently, what it's currently doing, and there's a decision coming up. Success is coming for you. Sounds ominous, doesn't it? Success is coming for you. <laughs> it sounds like a bad, a bad war movie. Success is coming for you, like a bad action movie or something. Um, success coming this Friday. You better be ready. Um, <coughs> I don't know why I'm so facetious about it. It was funny. Um, I would like to throw this in there. I'm I'm a Pisces. Fun. Woohoo. Um, so in case that matters, I feel like sometimes I gotta throw that in there because I get a little. I feel like I get a little sarcastic with it. I was raised by two Pisces, I don't know what to tell you. Um, <laughs> so I just don't want it to make it sound like I'm making fun of somebody or I'm like making light of something. Sometimes this is just how I handle things, but it seems like it's a little dicey. And I'm kind of like, or I keep getting like success is coming for you. And I get the moon card, which is your card, with the success kind of like it's coming, but like, whoa, exactly how is that coming? And what is it bringing? And like, especially when I'm getting like something I'm holding on to that is maybe served its purpose and it's time for something to go and maybe there's a change coming i don't see the tower well yeah, i do see the tower here like i'm fearing the tower but i don't know if it's going to be a tower moment um because i'm getting something is changing and at first when it happens it kind of feels like i don't know what i need to do with it i'm not even sure if it matters it's almost like the house is time to sell the house and there's an opportunity to sell the house and I'm like, well, what does it matter if I live here or somewhere else? It's going to be the same problems, just just a different location. Do I really want to do that to myself? Do I want to go through all the hassle of moving and getting used to new things if it's not going to be any better for me? Versus like looking at it in a different light, kind of like, well, maybe I could sell this house and I could hold on to that money and I don't have to buy another house right away. Maybe I could live in some other situation. Maybe I could move in with a friend or a relative and, and you know help out that way with cheaper bills and just kind of bide my time and think of what I really want to do or maybe I could move into an apartment. Maybe this is an opportunity to change my whole life that I wasn't really thinking of. There's possibilities here that I feel like I'm not allowing myself to see. It's kind of like, well, if I, what does it matter if I live here or across the street or down into, in, in another town? What does it matter? It's going to be the same thing, just a different day. And it's kind of like allowing yourself to see the possibility from this change. Because it seems like it's hard for me to see the possibility at this point. But there is a possibility for bigger changes, for things to evolve in a way that I wasn't expecting. This is a gift for you. The trick is to see the gift. It is a gift. It's a big gift. It can be wonderful for you. But it's kind of like, if you're not open to it, it's hard to see it. If, it's like, if I'm holding on with desperation, if I'm holding on with fear, if I'm fearing the change... It's hard to see the beauty that could come from it. It also, I want to add in here, doesn't mean whatever this change is, doesn't mean it's enjoyable. It could be one of those dark blessing things where it's kind of like the way it happened is not okay, but the outcome might be better than the original. So it's kind of like seeing the blessing for what it is and embracing it. It might be harder than it seems. It may be harder than it seems. I don't want to play it off like, you know, just love it. Just love life. Yay. I don't know about that. I'm like... It's getting around it, wrapping your mind around it, and seeing it for the potential that it has. I don't. I just don't like the idea of playing it down like, oh, just love life, that's all. Just love it. If that's all it was, I mean, not for nothing, why would you need this reading? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Not that you need this reading, but you know what I'm saying. Um, four of Cups? No. Four of Earth reversed. Yeah, Four of Earth reversed. Something being let go, whether we like it or not. And the hermit being reversed, too, is kind of like it's coming right out in the wash. Things are... I feel like you're going to have to let go anyway. It's just being more willing to it. it. seems to be happening anyway. The more willing you are, the better it goes for you. The more you embrace it, the better it goes for you. Um, there's a challenge here to go towards what you really do want, what you really do love, versus what you feel like you're supposed to do. Because when this happens... A lot of information flies at you. I just feel like I'm being beat to death with, like, it's almost like, you know, a monster library, and it's just, like, the ammunition is books, and it's just throwing books at you. Like, the information is just beating the crap out of you. That's how this feels to me. Um, 
there's so much coming at me. It's like, oh my God, you're killing me. Calm down. Like I can't, I can't process this all. I can't read all these books all at once. I can't process all this information all at once. A lot of it's coming at me. There's people saying, well, that's okay. You don't need to read the book. I'll tell you what book. I'll tell you what to do. I've read the book, so this is how you should do it. Be careful of that. Whatever the situation is, it's kind of like we're gonna go to the house analogy again. For whatever reason, you have to leave the house. You got to sell it. Do whatever you got to do. It's gone. You can't have it anymore for whatever reason. For whatever reason. What would you if you could have what you want? What would that be? It's, so it's kind of like, say maybe you live inland, but you're like, I would love to have a coastal residence. I'd love to live closer to the coast. I'd love to live closer to the water, closer to this, closer to that, maybe out in the country, closer to the nature, whatever. Let yourself consider it. And maybe you can find a temporary version of that so you can make a better decision for what you really need. Maybe there's things here like, well, my job is here, so I don't know if that's really applicable. I don't know if that's really a thing I can do. I don't feel like that's something I'm allowed to do right now. Let yourself play with the thought. Let yourself open up to possibilities. There might be more of an opportunity here than you were seeing in the beginning. So be careful and pull back and don't do what you feel like is expected or other people want you to do. Even if it's just to the point where like, I'm not going to buy a house right away, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move in somewhere else maybe a temporary dwelling, like an apartment, for example, or with other people or something that, like, I don't feel like I'm anchoring in here for the next X amount of years. Give yourself that ability to kind of step back and give yourself a bit to breathe because there's a lot, like, I just feel like, it's just coming at you all at once. So don't feel like you have to do this. Don't feel like you have to make something right away. I know that Pisces gets that opinion of people get the opinion of Pisces that we sit on things too long or we get caught in the dream world that's the stereotypical Pisces thing this is one of those times where they're saying no 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 use your strength your strength is to pull back go into something that's temporary for now so you can kind of like sift through your dreams and decide which dream you actually want to happen don't just jump forward with other people think you should what you sh other people think should happen if you're able to do that Pull back, do it on your terms, take a temporary move forward. I keep getting like a temporary move forward. Is That's like the point. You want to move forward in a temporary manner so you can reset, solidify what you want, and then you can redecide. Like, you know, of all my options, this is the one I actually like. Is there a way I could get closer to that? And if I was going to, let me just think about that. How would I make that happen? How is that even possible? Give yourself a chance because you got health and you got the Knight of Cups coming in. How do I get closer to what I actually want? Maybe I'm not going to get the exact outcome I want, but if I get something that's at least better than what I had, if I get an upgrade or an improvement, that's still something. Like if this has to happen, at least we want an improvement, right? The outcome. There's going to be a big change here either way is what I'm getting. There's going to be a big change. Um, other people do care, and other people are going to try to be as honest with you as possible, other people do care, and they're going to be try to try to be as honest with you. It may feel a little bit brutal, but the honesty is you can do more with honesty than somebody kissing your butt and telling you what you think they think you want to hear. So it's going to be a little bit of like brutal honesty coming in, but you, you'll be all right. People do care about you. From that, the change will happen. It's better that you know you step back into a temporary moment and decide what you really want because this temporary moment won't last forever. I feel like that's obvious. When this happens, I feel like you'll know that. Like, you have a temporary moment you can choose. Choose the temporary moment. It may be something where, all right, I can lease this apartment for six months, or I can. these people are like, you can live with us for another six to eight months. And they're like, all right, let's, we'll anchor it in. By this point, I'll make up my decision. It seems like it's a temporary moment. Sooner or later, that time clock will run out. I'm getting with the Eight of Swords. And the, the permanent change will come in. That's the death card coming in. But you can take that temporary step forward Give yourself a minute to germinate with it. Decide what you really want and then be ready so that you don't feel like I just have to do what I have to do. Take that minute. Make sure that's another thing maybe I'm not saying as much why it keeps coming back. Um, figure out what you actually do want. Realize that it's going to be there's going to be a time clock ticking. It's going to have a shelf life. The temporary move forward is definitely temporary. You will not have the option to make the temporary permanent. So keep that in mind. What do I really want? Where do I really want to go? How do I really want this to happen? And keep yourself on point with that. I feel like at least like 
at least set it up so like once a month, either you set up a meeting with somebody or you have something on your phone to remind yourself like I need to start moving forward and like how much progress have I made. If you can make it once a week, that's probably better. Um, especially if you have people you can talk to, if you have a therapist, uh, BetterHelp, is that a real, is it BetterHelp? I think it's BetterHelp.com. I don't have a promotional code for that, but like I think Katie Morton probably does. So check there if you want a promotional code. <laughs> I think she does. Um, get a therapist, help tell them you need help getting this taken care of and that you're going through this right now. They can help keep you on point. They can maybe give you weekly goals to help get you through this. You can get the outcome you want, not the outcome. You don't want to get an, you don't want to be stuck with an outcome you didn't want. You want to move forward with an outcome you do want. So keep that in mind. Those are ideas to help this move forward in a healthy way that will serve you. Um, once it starts moving forward, there's going to be a lot coming forward all at once. If, if this is a struggle for you, ask for help, but make sure that you choose what you want. Ask for help appropriately. Um, I think that's why I went the better help route. Like a therapist is a good idea. If you have somebody in your life who literally wants to help you make the decisions you want and are not going to try to push you like, all right, Pisces, I think, you know, I know you a little bit better. I know you want that. I don't think you can do that. Go over here. You don't really want that type of help. You want somebody who's kind of like, all right, this is what you want. Let's see what that would entail. Let's see what your life would be like with that. And just if you're okay with doing that, that's cool. You want somebody who like lifts you up and kind of just is honest, kind of like, okay, if you want to do that, I can see this would be required, this would be required, and this would be required. As long as you can make peace with that, I think you'll be fine. Go ahead and do that. Like, not somebody saying, oh, I know you better than that, don't do that. Somebody else, somebody kind of like gearing it in the sense of like, okay, these are going to be those requirements. As long as you're at peace, as long as you see that, go ahead, do what you got to do. I just want to be honest with you and show you what I think will be requirements to make that happen. I feel like, like you want somebody who's more of a, like, lift you up. Like, you could do that. I just want you to be aware that this is what you'd have to do, that type of thing. All right, I think we're done. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.